Hey, hello, welcome to back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been a while since I posted and I'm really really excited to be introducing story times into my YouTube channel. Um, so I hope you will enjoy it and you will learn some things from it. Um, so today's story time is about the first time I got panic attack. So it happened around five years ago. And at that time I was going to the high school and whenever our class would end I would always meet with my best friend and at that time I was really big on smoking weed and on abusing other stimulants. I was really addicted to it actually and I was smoking weed like every day, all day basically. Um, so we would always meet and just roll up and a joint and smoke it. And that day we didn't have like the, the stronger weed. Um, we, we had homegrown weed which, uh, which was a lot less stronger than like the Texas skunk that we used to smoke. And um, that's why when we were passing it, we would always hold in the smoke longer so it would hit us more. Um, so we were doing that and when we finished, it hit us like really strong, stronger than I thought. Um, and the first few minutes were okay, like I got that high feeling in my body, I got that high feeling in my head, um, I was seeing things like a dream, uh, I was getting sensitive and I was also getting giggly and everything started to seem funny, but then like it hit me, like the pure panic hit me. And it started, I still remember this so vividly, like it started in my feet and it progressed to my head and it was just like a wave, like just like a wave, but so, so strong, like so intense, pure panic. And I was just like, whoa, when this happened. And since that moment, I was out of it, like I was so anxious and so scared and I went home really quickly because I said that I'm really not feeling my best and from that moment I couldn't stop thinking about it and I couldn't stop being scared that this will happen again. So I was just thinking about it and thinking about it, thinking about this moment, being stuck in this memory um, till the point where I was get more and more anxious and my heart would start pounding faster and stronger. So my heart was really rushing and I was, I was a bit anxious at that time also. So I was just thinking like, uh, oh my gosh, like I am having a heart attack. No joke, I thought that I am having a heart attack. So this made me more and more anxious and the only thing I could focus on was the pounding of my heart. Um, so I got so anxious, it was nighttime, that I couldn't sleep. And I was just listening to my heart pounding, pounding, pounding. So, um, because I couldn't sleep, I went to my mom to get some support and to calm me down a little bit. So she, she said that I could sleep um, with her. And I agreed. I was so happy that she, um, she said that. And she tried, the, she tried to calm me down like she was massaging my back, but I started like shaking um, and I still just couldn't 
stop focusing on my pounding heart and I really thought that this is the last day, that this is the end, that I will die now <laughs> and I was so so scared and I couldn't think of anything else and because I was so anxious like I almost felt like I was in a dream like when I would look around everything seemed so surreal and this was happening for six hours till now it was like 6 a.m. and I was so exhausted from stressing out and being in that panic attack that I just fell asleep for like two or three hours and then I would wake up and I was thinking about it the whole day I was so scared of it I didn't know I didn't want it to happen again so I was obsessing myself with that memory and it led um, into another panic attack at the same time because I was so afraid of that certain time and I'm sure that a lot of people with anxiety can relate like you are so afraid of certain situations, you're so afraid of certain rooms, you are so afraid of certain time, of certain clock. Um, that was the case in in my case, in my situation. I was so afraid of the night time. And of course, because I was obsessing about it so much, it happened again. And it was it was just as intense as the first time. And I didn't I still didn't know that this was a panic attack so I went actually to the emergency room and they checked me up and they then said that it was a panic attack and that they can prescribe me some pills to calm me down and I just agreed like yes I would love to take those pills like I just want this to be a, to end um, I can't live like this um, so I took it that night and it was a bit better but not much um, but the next day I was thinking about it and it made me realize that if I would be on those pills I would be on those pills for some time and by taking those pills I won't be treating the root cause that caused these panic attacks and I will be stuck in cycles of panic attacks forever and I don't want that so I didn't took any pills anymore after that first time and I really wanted to heal this by myself um, yeah and the whole time I was like my biggest cheerleader <laughs> and it was it was really hard to to force myself to not think about it, to not obsess about it. So the panic attacks were slowly decreasing. They were not as strong as they used to be and they would fade away. But actually my anxiety stayed and it also progressed. So I was still so anxious and I developed also social anxiety but from that day like I didn't smoke weed anymore and I didn't take other stimulants and I also didn't drink alcohol because when you drink when you smoke you get kind of dizzy and you get that surreal feeling um, when you're looking around so this would just remind me so much of the panic attacks that I just couldn't bear it um, and I just quit everything from that day on and like the panic attacks did fade away but the other issues then developed uh, with mental health um, and the only thing that really helped me was healing my gut because 
I just, I think I don't know, like, I thought that mental health and gut health were so separated and that they don't have any connection, uh, but it's, it, it's just not the case, like, when you heal your gut health, um, your mental health will transform big time, and yeah, when I really started to heal my gut, everything changed for me, like the panic attacks went um, off, sorry, the panic, the panic itself, like the panicky feeling went away, away completely and the anxiety went away, the depression went away and everything. So that's why I'm so passionate about it because if you're having this now or if you ever had it, like I know how you feel and it's terrible like every time i had it i thought i will die um and i was obsessing with this fear of dying and that's why i was always running in a loop so if you have an experience with it and if you want to share your first experience with having a panic attack i invite you to do that in the comments down below I'm really curious to hear your stories um, and if you are struggling with it right now I know how it feels like I know how stuck you feel you may feel and how afraid and how weak you feel how not in control of your life you feel but if you just stop obsessing about it and when you really start to take better care of your gut health I'm sure that this will help you and just transform your life a lot like a lot a lot and I just want to let you know that there is actually an easy solution <laughs> actually an easy solution and right in front of you like you just need to take this situation into your own hands and know that that you have the power like you have the power like trust me I've been there too and I've transformed it, everything. So you are so, 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 so strong and you are capable of fighting this. <laughs> um, so thank you for your time and thank you for listening to my story. I hope it gives you a sense that, that there is always a solution and I'm really excited to be sharing more about my story time. So see you in my next video. Bye.